already DM'd me before and apologized because she knew it was going to get out. Mm. I actually have a voice message. You want to hear it? Oh. Where my phone? Exclusive. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. We got the receipts. Okay. We love receipts now. Okay. You already know what it is. We got Legacy from Now That's TV on the show. Period. Can you, I know you're sitting down real cute and everything, but is there a way you can hit us with that dance? Yeah, okay, uh, that bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I love your fit. Too Thank cute. you. You looking so Thank adorable. you. You look cute it. too. Appreciate you. So, girl, you've been traveling. Like, yeah. you've been here, you've been there, mm -hmm. but you're back in the town. So, for the people who don't know, you're from. Rochester, New York, Big 585. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. So, for the people who don't know, for the people who do know, now that's TV. We're going to get started into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me a little bit about how your audition went or how you got picked to actually so, even be on? Uh, my audition, um, first, I knew somebody who knew the person that was doing the show. Mm -hmm. um, I basically reached out to her was like, hey, what's this? Because it's a Young and Reckless. I've been reckless all my life. So, okay. I'm like, this is perfect. We've been finna do some reckless stuff on here. I'm ready for it. Um, right. I ended up going on joining a few people's live um you know networking figuring out like you know who's on who could possibly be on the show mm -hmm. and so forth um i ended up going live with rose i don't know if you're familiar with her she's from the mint uh -huh. um we ended up chopping it up she put a word in for me and then from there i ended up going live with ferrari and naya and then the next day i got casted oh, wow mm -hmm. so, oh, if i'm not mistaken this was in atlanta right this was, uh, yes, in okay. Atlanta. Reunion was in Vegas. Okay, best. Mm -hmm. So, the A. How how you feel about that? It's real different from Rochester, you know, yes, the weather. Yes, yes. I feel like the vibes in Atlanta is definitely, uh, I would say, how do you put it? It's more, like, busy, busy, it's busy, yeah. busy. Um, it's definitely a different ro vibe from Rochester. I like it. Um, mm -hmm. If you like the nightlife, I would definitely recommend ATL for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. So. Are we good curse? Oh, oh, girl, what? Okay, shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, we live with it. Fair, fair <laughs> okay. So, um, I wanted to know, like, first before you even um started filming mm -hmm. everything did you have like some nerves were you were like you ever on tv before this this was actually my first show i've ever done um okay. honestly like up until the time when it was time for me to go to the airport i was a little bit nervous but i took two shots i swear i was ready i came in the house like ah smiling and yeah. then i was like two ten minutes later i was smiling so i'm like oh no right uh, it definitely was the first show I've ever been on. Definitely not the last. I know, that's um, right. A wild experience. You know, you're thrown in the house with a whole bunch of different girls with different okay. personalities. So it's like, I got two sisters, but mm -hmm. 10 girls. Oh, God. It was, it was a that's lot. That's crazy. It was a lot to adjust from. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just wanted to say, you look so good on camera. Oh, okay. Thank you. It, it was many <laughs> scenes you didn't have no makeup on. Your braids was um, popping. Palette Iverson's, fresh yes. out the brain. Okay. Bitches can't Shout say out shit. to Absolute Braids. <laughs> Period. So, um, what, for the people who don't know, what was your first altercation in the house? The first altercation I would have to say is with Ivory. Mm -hmm. Um, that was least expected. I didn't expect to get into it with her. But when we was outside chopping it up, I already knew I was finna get into it with her. Yeah. Um, they kind of, if you listen, mm -hmm. she kind of called us boring. And I was like, what you want us to do, a cartwheel? And they kind of like turned the mic down. But that was our little, she snapped back. Right. As soon as I said that, she said something smart back. So I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. um, I went in the house just like. I'm like, let me chill, let me just vibe, because I already got a couple phases I got to run before I get in there. So yeah. I'm like, I don't want to get into it and use up all my energy. Exactly. But when I came inside, it's like she just wanted to test my temperature, and, and I wasn't having it, because it's like oh, no. I came to you, I was nice, I was smiling, mm -hmm. I was welcoming, and now you're you're trying to abuse my, you know, kindness. Mm -hmm. Like, you just, you just trying to test my gangster. That's what she really was trying to do. Right. So... I felt like, you know, the person I am, you're not finna stand over me and wave your hand in my face and think okay. I'm finna sit there. Win, lose, or draw, I'm, we finna get it up. So that was 
what it was. We got it up. Yeah. I mean, she got the best of me, but I wanted to teach her, like, I'm not scared of you. Like, we going to go round for round for round. Yeah. And that's when you started. You gained a lot of respect. Yeah. You gained a lot of fans. I know a lot of people uh, really respected you because there was a lot of people that was scared and didn't fight her when she was disrespecting them. Yeah. So Hell I definitely yeah. gave you a lot of pause. Even Thank though she, you. you know, she is pretty big. Yeah, she is big. <laughs> Ooh, that weight couldn't withstand it. I'm like, God damn, somebody, security, come on, this bitch on top of me. I can't breathe. Like, come okay. on. Like, get her off me so we can run it back again. Right. <laughs> right. So and I remember um watching it. And you had um, ran up in her ass. So the reason why you did that was because you felt like she snuck you No, first? so this is a lot. This is behind the scenes. She actually, I was told that she ripped my, my frontal. Okay. So after that, like, people don't notice, but if you slow down the scene, Naj actually poured a cup of liquor, like a whole entire cup of liquor on me. You, If you slow it down, she snuck in and poured it on me. At that time, I thought it was ivory. Okay. You know, so... I'm thinking this girl poured a cup of liquor. I find out she ripped my frontal. Like, I'm still upset about that. You right. ripped my frontal and you poured a cup of liquor on me. Mm. But after the show aired, I knew to pay attention to this part because I knew I got a whole cup of liquor poured on me. And the yeah. whole time, it was never Ivory. It was Naj that did it. She was the same one screaming like, oh, don't be pouring liquor in people's face. But she yeah. just poured a whole cup of liquor and the cup that I had was orange juice. So it's like, you're being a hypocrite. Right. And also, like... Naj has snuck you mm-hmm. when you was on the couch. Yeah. And then, so, for the record, you didn't see her come in. No, not at, at all. all. It's, it's crazy because we chopped it up before the show. She wow. knew I was going to be on the show. She reached out to me. Mm-hmm. And we were chopping it up. Um, We were, like, talking about the show. She was giving me pointers, you know, because she's been on the show before. Right. So, I'm thinking that at least she's, like, being genuine about it. She actually wants to, you know, help me out, considering this is my first show. Mm-hmm. So, that definitely was a blind side. It was a sneak for me because when we came in the house too we were chopping it up we like hey girl you know yeah. dancing and stuff and then it's like that the flip. was sneak i didn't even know she snuck me until i went in the room and landon told me but she scratched my cornea my eye girl what yes yeah, she scratched my cornea so after that i was like i'm i'm, yeah. I'm done like i gotta just chill because it's mm-hmm. only my first day and that's so much for your first day. Like, yeah. you're definitely mm-hmm. a warrior. Thank you. And for those who don't know, it's giving Big Sag energy. Big don't fuck Sag. with it. <laughs> Can't put my fire out, period. Okay, <laughs> I know that's right. Now, you did say that you have sisters, right, prior yes. to us starting. Mm-hmm. So, with having sisters, do you feel like that kind of prepped you for the show? You ever got arguments with your sister? Oh, happened? hell yeah. We got into arguments, physical fights, got mm-hmm. pushed into the TV all day. So, it's like, I'm used to the arguing and stuff but right. me i don't like to argue because when i argue i start to stutter when i start to stutter i'm gonna hit you that's how you i feel yeah so yeah. you don't see much dialogue in my fights maybe a little one two but mm-hmm. i just be ready to fight like when yeah. i feel like somebody disrespecting me i gotta i gotta i gotta get it i know that's right shit they were testing you a lot yeah you know what i'm saying and i really wanted to ask you like Going into the house and getting that energy from some people when you were minding your business, it mm-hmm. gave me the vibes that in real life, outside of filming, that's how bitches are towards you. Because yeah. it, it reminded me of me a little bit because um, I'm my mind fucking business, and then I feel like <laughs> people like really just try right. to try me. Yeah, and it's like you you want to see me get there for what? Right when for you say what? Cute and pretty. Yeah. Exactly. It's an issue. It's an issue, especially I had that nice little red. I was feeling myself. I didn't yeah. want to throw on the gray. I had the red bust down. So it's like right. the fact that you ripped my frontal is giving very much like hating vibes. Mm-hmm. I feel like she just didn't know how to act when she in a room full of pretty girls. So she just had to start snatching people up, hitting people. And I really feel like it's an insecure thing that she got going on because what would be the reason for you to come and pick on all the pretty girls? Like. Right. What's the reason? Like, there's no reason for you to be snatching people's frontals off and ripping them. Like, I feel you on that. So you feel like maybe back in high school and shit like that, you had bitches wanting to have an issue with you just because? Yeah, well, in my high school, I'm known for, like, you know, standing up for myself. Okay. I used to get bullied in middle school. Then when I came to high school, my brothers and sisters, they was like, you know what? You're not finna let nobody talk to you crazy, bully you, nothing. Like, mm-hmm. you want to stand up for yourself. When I was in middle school, I'm the youngest. Okay. So it was like I couldn't really, like, call my brother and sister. But when I came to high school, they like, no, fight this girl. Don't let her talk to you like that. So that's where my inner self 
you know, where I, where I stand up for myself. I just, it's automatically a prone to stand up for myself. Yes, yes. Um, and I really wanted to ask you a little bit about production. So mm -hmm. from us from the outside, we watching the show, you know what I'm saying? We're not knowing when they eat, if they eat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Are you allowed to have a cell phone? Are I was you? hungry. I was oh, hungry. You was hungry, girl? I was starving. I can't miss a meal. I'm already 115 pounds. I miss one more girl. meal. I'm going to disappear. Oh, my so God. So I'm like, girl. wait. And it's like they they giving us liquor. They giving us no we water, food. no food. So it's just like, of course, we all going to be hungry. We got nothing but liquor in our stomach. Yeah. I'm taking Tylenol because, I, you know, I got a headache and stuff. So I'm just having Tylenol, liquor, and juice. So by the time it's time to eat, I don't even have an appetite anymore. I just want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Word, I know how it is. And they, they definitely had the girls hangry out there. I yeah. think that's definitely a tactic. Yeah. So I know from watching, like, Bad Girls Club, like, years ago, even, mm -hmm. like, Baddies Now, too, um, and now to watching Now That's TV, a mm -hmm. lot of um, cast members was talking about they're not allowed to have their phones. Was that mm -hmm. something... That you had to experience too, not having your phones. At yeah, times. I could understand why they say for us not to have our phones. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't agree with it because you know a girl's phone is their life. At least mine, I yeah. like to be on my phone. So, but I could understand it's a safety reason for one, so mm -hmm. people can't be calling up, sending out the locations, and also so the fans can actually get an experience of the show. Now mm -hmm. we done had a couple fights leaked out, a couple scenes leaked out. That's why they do the no phones thing because they don't want you know fights or anything inside the house to be leaked before it's aired so mm -hmm. i understand that but um when it when it comes to a, a certain time where it's just like all right i need my phone like yeah it's just like can i i need my phone like in the car you're gonna see me they you know force me to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with ivory i'm mm -hmm. just like all right bro can i get can my get phone my, yep. like can i get my phone that's when i'm just like i'm done yeah and let, let's talk about that too because when i saw that scene I, I have also gained respect for you, too, because you didn't change up. I felt like there's certain girls in the house, if they were in your shoes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I really tried to talk to them in the car. They would have been like, oh, okay, like maybe we could yeah. be. You, you stood on business because you're you're about respect. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's something I respected. Obviously, she didn't like that and then and, and got upset, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and it's like, I'm already sitting all the way in the car, it's just, just like, production told me, like, off, I I don't think they was really understanding what happened in the bus, like, I'm trying to explain to them, like, I couldn't even talk, because she, this girl, like, literally, she's, like, three, four hundred pounds, she done stumped me in my throat, yeah. my little tiny throat, so mm. I'm just trying to talk, but it's like, they're they're forcing me to have a conversation with this girl when it's just like I can't even talk. I'm on five percent right now, See. so I just felt like that conversation. I wanted my phone, so I'm like, all right, I'll give y'all dialogue if I could get my phone. Okay. So, so they was like, there's no fighting. We not gonna. And then she tries to do that because I don't want to talk. So right. It's just like it's a lot, and it all that happened lot. in 48 hours. So girl, that yeah. seemed like a damn near week. Mm -hmm. Like. So do you think that production is a little bit messy? Like I know oh, yeah. they kind of gotta be, but for certain, they yes. definitely put y'all in certain. I and I also feel like too, with certain fights, like even the situation with you being in the bathroom. There's certain situations where mm -hmm. some people are in the bathroom and security yeah. already there. Yeah, and then sometimes security not there. Do you yeah. think they pick and choose when they want to really break shit up? I'm going to be honest. I feel like that situation when Ivory came after I snuck her in the bathroom, that it was just like it wasn't planned to happen. I don't feel like okay. it was a setup. I don't feel like it was something. I just feel like it just so happened to happen. Like she just walked in and, you know, I, I feel like that was just a coincidence. I don't okay. feel like anything was set up in that moment. That's real, though. That's mm -hmm. what's up. So I really wanted to bring up, I saw in the blogs that Naj had actually apologized. She yeah. apologized to you? And then, so was she trying to act like... Um, she didn't apologize to me. Okay. In the video, it says she already apologized to me, but she didn't. Oh, she, she didn't, didn't apologize to me. She didn't reach out to me. She didn't apologize to me at all. Uh, oh, okay. Um, it was more so a public apology, but with that public apology in the group chat, 
it was, oh, I'm going to smack her for commenting and all that. They mm. hated the fans, you know, giving them. They hated the backlash that the fans were giving to them. Yeah. I was out of the group, but a girl that I'm cool with on the show was in the group. So mm. she was showing me everything. Like, anytime they bring up my name, she would have a screenshot and show me, like, the girl is saying something, and she says she was going to smack me. Crystal says she finna do me shysty at the reunion. Like, they was all talking shit. Wow. Yeah. So do you feel like you was ganged up on, in a way? Because from the outside, it kind of seemed like certain people had issues, and then it was yeah. like people... Now I don't like her cause. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the moment I felt ganged up on was definitely on the bus, mm. for sure. I I didn't know that I got jumped until I watched the oh, episode. Yeah. I just thought that Ivory was just holding my hand while I was fighting Cass, but after reviewing, like she actually jumped me. Like mm. they actually did that, and I didn't know that because when Mel. Hopped in the chat. Yeah. After everything, Mel was like sticking up for me. She was like, "What the fuck? This girl is little. Mm -hmm. Why y'all jumping this little girl?" They're all like, "Oh no, she didn't get jumped." This like they were telling Mel that she didn't get jumped, and I started to believe that I didn't get jumped because it's like all of y'all saying that I didn't see myself getting yeah. jumped. I just felt like a lot of pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. pinned down. That's all I could say. Because wow. if I knew I got jumped, I would have said it in my confessional. That's a fact. Yeah. But so with that situation with Cass, um. Do you think a battery was put in her back? I, I kind of sure. felt like it came out of nowhere. For sure. Um, what happened off camera? Um, she came in my room. She came in my room along with Charmaine, and this was right after I got snuck by Naj. And I'm like, okay, she coming in my room. Like, what you want? So mm -hmm. I was like, what's up? You want to run it again? She was like, nah, nah, you got that. You scratched my eye. Da da da. Reached her hand out to slap me up. I was like, all right, we already fought. It was dumb. Dabbed her up. Charmaine right behind her. Mm. She was like, yeah, that was dumb. Slapped her up. I could drop dead right now. That's what happened. Wow. So I'm thinking everything is cool. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking everything cool. I'm thinking me and, I mean, me and Ivory already fought whatever. She did what she did in the bathroom. In the back of my head, it's just like, I don't want to fight no more. Yeah. I done got into all these altercations. My cornea and my eye is scratched. So I have to wear glasses because mm -hmm. the light hurts my eyes. At this time, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see in the last episode, Naj, I'm, I'm taking a shower. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Naj come in the bathroom like, Lacey, I need my fade. I said, okay. And she was like, didn't you say you want to fight me? I was just like, if I want to fight you, I would have fought you. Mm -hmm. I'm chilling. And I just felt like ever since I've been in that house, I've been a target for people to just have camera time. Yeah. I was the target for most people. So would you say that people underestimate slim girls? Oh, most definitely. I feel like that's why I've been tried the most. Mm -hmm. I'm the littlest. Everybody want a piece of me. <laughs> yeah. I, I could I could definitely see that. Even, like, shows throughout the years, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people underestimate short people, slim yeah. people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And y'all come with the fuckers. Like, yeah. you just don't care. Like, mm -hmm. um, so... The glasses situation. <laughs> Let's Ooh. talk about the glasses situation a little bit because um, this is where I felt like it was kind of wishy washy. Mm -hmm. From my understanding, from the view viewers' uh, standpoint, production gave you the glasses, mm -hmm. right? And they lied and said, "I said before I I put the glasses on because I don't like." You know, I got a problem with everybody in the house. I'm right. like, whose glasses are these? Mm -hmm. It's productions. Like, that's what they were trying to make it seem like the glasses was productions. Oh, yeah, I asked them. I was like, because I'm not going to, like, I'm smart. Right. I'm not going to put on glasses and it's like, it's somebody I don't fuck with, Charmaine, Cass, or, you know. Yeah. So I asked them, like, where y'all get these glasses from? Mm, messy. But they, 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 made, they wanted me to come in here so bad for that scene. Oh, did they? Yeah, so that scene that you see, it was like the voting out. They wanted me yeah. to be in there. At that time, um, I talked to production. They were like, you know what, a lot happened. We're going to put you in a hotel. They suggested for me to go in a hotel. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, I have to talk to Ivory, and I'll get my phone after. After that, it's, oh, we got to close out. We need dialogue, this and that. I'm like, all right, I'm not going in there unless I have some shades because, right. like, 
I ain't, I ain't finna be no meme, and I, 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 I oh, hit that no pretty meme. good, cause yeah. y'all did not get my black eye the whole season, so I'm like, I ain't finna I'm, be no meme. That's a fact. So, you that. yeah. So, okay, now I for, I forgot her name for a second. The girls whose glasses it was. Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Jimmy, oh, no, you did not. My bad. Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. That's what it is. What, what's that girl name? Sai. Sai. Oh yes. Sai. Literally, Sai. I'm crying. So, Sai have wanted to vote you out. Did y'all have prior? No, I didn't even like. They cropped it out, but me and a producer that has asked me questions, I'm like, what is that girl name? Like, we literally yeah. stuck. We like, what is that girl name? And it's like, at that moment, it was no disrespect to her, but it's just mm-hmm. like, I don't know your name. I didn't even know you was on the, yeah. the show. Like, very pretty girl, but it's like, you were not somebody who I I seen. Mm-hmm. I thought she was just coming in. Like, right. who are you? That's, that's how I felt. So... Mm-hmm. We had no, we didn't even have no conversation. We had no prior issues. I just thought it was funny for her to vote me out for sneaking people. And then the next day she sneaks me. So you being a hypocrite. And can you just let us know uh, real quick, how how long was this experience supposed to be? Like a week? It's supposed to be seven days. Seven days. Damn, that's a lot in seven days. Yeah. So we going to get into the next day, but I really wanted to jump in and talk about Mel a little bit. Mm -hmm. First of all, I love me some Mel. Yes, I love her too. That's my girl. Yeah, and and um, I seen on your social media and stuff like mm-hmm. y'all connected. Yeah. Would you say that's like somebody you would fuck you fuck with now? Yes, too? I love Mel. Same. She's down to earth. I feel like the girls in the house didn't get to meet the side of Mel that I got to meet too. Mm-hmm. Get to meet her when she came in. I was just at a point like you know I was in a fucked up like you know headspace. I was thinking like everybody is like you know. I was on limb with everybody. Yeah. Um, so when she came in, I was just already chilling, you know? Right, right. But we actually got to have our one-on-one time. I got to talk to her. And it was just more than TV. Like, her mm-hmm. goals. I like how she's goal-driven. She is very talented. She could rap. She could sing. She could do yeah. hair. Like, she's just all around. Yes, yes. Y'all definitely... Um Y'all became favorites for standing up for yourselves. Mm-hmm. And um, what would you say... Is like your favorite thing about her, like that made you vibe with her. My favorite thing about Mel is she's a real person. Like, just real. whether you like it or not, mm-hmm. she gonna let you know what's up. And yeah. She definitely stuck by my side from the moment that she met me. Mm-hmm. I, I had so much fun with her off set. Yeah. Then I was, you know, I had so much fun off set than I was on set. Mm-hmm. You know, we got a break from the cast so while they was filming we actually had a break like we got to go to walmart do our little shopping do some tiktok videos and stuff like that so i had fun with her she was a vibe that was like the most fun i've had in atl when i was there yes and y'all both um y'all both were kind of i wouldn't say like segregated but people was trying to come against y'all so Mm -hmm. it's like y'all some real bitches you know how to stand up for yourself um so tell me a little bit about it was sneaker doodle. Sneaker doodle, yeah. First of all, that looks so fire. <laughs> I was so mad. I wanted to do the sneaker so bad. Yeah. I'm like holding up the sneaker. This girl just sneaked me. I didn't even know who snuck me until I walked out the building. That's I just so knew crazy. it was a setup. I I felt it. I should have just went with my gut instinct. Mm-hmm. And um, when I saw when I first saw the preview, they showed y'all walking into um sneaker doodle. You and Mel. Mm-hmm. And just from your facial expression, you and her, it looked like y'all weren't even fucking feeling it. It looked yeah. like y'all weren't. I'll tell you why. So okay. when we was when we first came in, it was in the mall. Mm-hmm. The sneaker doodles was upstairs. When we came in, we called um, production and we was like, "We coming up? No, 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 no! Don't come up!" Oh. So we just like weird. Like why? Why y'all don't want us to come up yet? Like mm-hmm. okay, we thinking maybe they want to do an intro with us. No camera they come down to get us we go upstairs and we seen the first red flag that i noticed is we seen cuzzo mm-hmm. we seen cuzzo and then she wasn't in the event oh so that was the first red flag so it's like do you have the rest of the girls here yeah and me and mel like you know why are we walking up we just like looking at each other like like looking at each other like we don't know, but we don't want to leave, but right. we don't know if we right. We don't know if we wrong, but we just felt a bad 
intuition about the sneaker doodles, but we wanted to give it a try mm -hmm. because they wanted us to come back so bad. Yeah. So once y'all finally got in your seats, um, and then y'all had the play sneakers, mm -hmm. um, y'all felt tensed up. Did you feel I energy from across the room at all? You know what's crazy? Huh. After I got in yeah. the room and I sat down, Mel said she didn't feel comfortable. Da, 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 she got up and moved. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like, all right, I'm I could chill now because she's sitting right here. I'm sitting right here. I could see the door. The doors right here was glass doors. Right. So anybody coming in, I could already see the whole area. And behind me was like, you know, that was it was nowhere that somebody new could come in. Yeah. So anybody I could see is in my peripheral, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's like that one time that I turned my back, I got caught lacking. And that shit was so crazy. Did it feel like it all happened so fast? Like as soon as you just got there, did it feel like? No, we was actually there for about 30 minutes, 30, 45 Where? minutes. They made it seem like, you it know, but we was chilling for a good 30, 45 minutes. I was able to um, come up with a sketch on my phone. We was there for a good minute. So That's the fact crazy. that that happened, like, mm -hmm. I kind of relaxed after 20 minutes, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you could see me on bother. I'm not really, you know, I'm excited mm -hmm. to do the activity. Right. So I definitely say I let my guard down for sure. I feel you. So do you feel like if the whole house was there, she would have done it sooner because it's more people to prove yourself in front of because you said that you was there for like 30 minutes. Cause from the viewer standpoint, it looked like as soon as you sat down, like this shit happened in like and five And that's minutes. crazy. And I don't like how they did me like that because they, there's a lot of stuff that they cropped out. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm not the type to go on the internet and bash, you know, not as TV because it's like, I understand it's like a production standpoint. Now, as far as for the host, me and her got into it because yeah. that's just a whole different conversation. But yeah. we had a conversation when we wasn't filming. So okay. I just felt like she wasn't being genuine when we were off camera. So right. that's how our beef kind of started. But from production standpoint, I just feel like they just they they know they know what they're doing. Yeah. And then it's TV. They're it gonna is. be messy. Mm hmm You know. But as a host, I should feel like I could at least have some kind of, you know, trust with you or feel like you're gonna play neutral. Right. Now, did you um, I saw in the blogs also that, Sai apologized to you via yeah. DM. Mm-hmm. So how the fuck how how did that work? So she apologized you after the fact. So, um, basically, I got added to a group chat. Yeah. And they was just like, it, it's 10 of them. So, they all messaging, messaging, messaging. Right. I can't see anything because my notifications are on mute. Mm -hmm. Until, like, Mel was, like, telling me about what's going on in the group chat. She was like, Shay is the one that told Sai you had a hit list. So, me mm -hmm. being a receipt queen... I just, Hello. she she already DM'd me before and apologized because she knew it was going to get out. Mm. I actually have a voice message. You want to hear it? Oh. Where my phone? Exclusive. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. We got the receipts. Okay. We love receipts now. Okay. So, oh, Shay ended up. Hold on. Let me see. Mm -hmm. She apologized. Me, so you think she know. left a voice message to um because she thought it was going to disappear instead of writing it? I think initially Shay just really thought that she knew what she knew. Like okay. she's just been the messy person. Me personally, I don't do hit lists, mm -hmm. you know. I came in a room after that, I got, you know, jumped and the glasses thing, I came in there and I was talking to Sav and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? Because me and Cass already slapped it up. So for her to bring that back up again and then for Ivory to bring some shit up again and then for the glasses, I was just like, bro, I'm done fighting. Like, I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah. Like, I said, I'm done. And I said, I said, if Ivory, Cass, Charmaine, or Naj want to fight tomorrow, we could fight tomorrow, but I'm not fighting nobody tonight. Like, yeah. nobody. And then me and Sav was talking about the situation, about, like, the glasses shit was weird. Like, we were just saying how it was weird. Mm -hmm. So for Shay to sit here and ear hustle and just twist up my words and create, say I have a hit list, like, if that's what you call a hit list, like I've been telling group chat, call it what you want. Yeah. I felt like my safe space was in my room with Sav, and she was ear hustling, and 
end up twisting and jumbling up my words. Right. And then that's when she came in my DMs and apologized because she knew it was going it was gonna get leaked. You definitely did your shit though, like I said, like I ain't gonna lie, you definitely did your shit. Even with leaving and shit like that, like I said, I definitely understood why the fuck you left. Cause after that van, I would have left too. So you feel me? But like I said, I feel like I had to come and tell you what's up real quick. Cause bitch, like I said, the shit gonna get out anyway. And I need like like I said, I should just mind the fuck on my business. Cause the way that shit played out, it still made me look. It just looked crazy, bro. But people who know and shit like that gonna understand my side and shit. Just like people who know you gonna get your side, get your side. But at the end of the day, this is just TV shit. So we had a fun time for me. That's what it was. And then after that, she ended up going in the group chat and just like after I explained to her like this is not what happened because when she first texted me, I'm like that's crazy that you would say that because I never said that. Like right. you said that you told me to be safe. Why would you tell me to be safe? And then you go and tell this girl that I want to fight her. Come on. You told me that, like, why would you even speak to me? Why would you even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me, like, you like you can't play both sides if you gonna, you got to pick a side. Hello. And I was cordial with Shay. Mm -hmm. Shay did not know that I had an intuition that she was, you know, she's like the messenger, the puppet yeah. master. Right. So to her and her eyes, we are cool. Mm-hmm. I never, you know, spoke bad about Shay other than I told Sav. I said, watch out because I don't know. This girl keeps coming in the room, going back upstairs, coming down. Like, it's just a whole bunch of messy stuff that I see. Yeah. So I, I let Sav know. I said, Sav, watch out for her, you know. Mm -hmm. But in her eyes, we're cool. So when I seen the episode air out, it's like, damn, you telling them we're we're not cool. You don't fuck with me. You don't confused. this. You don't that. Mm -hmm. But it's like you was in a hair. You was in a hairdresser room trying to look out for me, telling me be safe. Right now you finna catch a fade with Naj because you don't want to fight Naj. Mm. How? Why you want to fight me when you're the one who twisted up my business? Right. I should be the one that want to fight you. But no, you want to fight me because you're scared of Naj and you want to catch that fade for her. Mm -hmm. And that's fucked up because it's like pick a side. If yeah. you're going if you're gonna ride out for side, don't even speak to me. Don't even tell I me don't. to be safe. Don't even try and chop it up. Don't even come in my my DMs like uh, telling me that you're apologizing if you were gonna stay on side side. Right. I feel like the only reason why she switched over to me and apologized to me because how to wait shit played out for her mm -hmm. Sai ended up switching up on her Sai ended up doing her wrong Sai ended up telling everybody what she told her so now she wants to come over to my side and yeah. apologize but had that never went down had Sai never snaked you you would not be coming over to me That's apologizing right. so so yeah that shit got real messy it got so messy but it I could understand Shay's standpoint, but it's like you were completely wrong. Yeah, you twisted up my words, and you just wanted to have something to tell Sai. Mm -hmm. I feel like she wanted to be friends with Sai so bad for whatever reason, but Sai wasn't feeling the same way. Like it wasn't genuine. That's a fact, and I know that you know a couple of the cast members got on her ass about that a little bit. Like the situation, they were kind of um, you know, she kind of got singled out when they was pressing her about it, and then that's when Naj, right? She was like. Okay, so when you see Legacy run your fade. Yeah. That okay. was fucked up because, yeah. like, you was cool. You, you played cool with me. Right. Why do that? Mm -hmm. You would have blindsided me. I would have came back to the house fighting you, and that would have been a complete blindside. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, you tell me to be safe, and now all of a sudden, you want to fight me? Yeah. And then after I fight you, I have to fight all these people that you said I, I made out a hit. My definition of a hit list is, okay, you... I'm a, I'm a mark you out one by one. That's mm -hmm. a hit list. A hit list is you going after people marked out. Da da da. I simply said I'm not fighting, and whoever has a problem with me tomorrow, they can fight me. I'm just yeah. not fighting t tonight. Reason right. being, I felt like a whole lot of beef resurfaced with Ivory Cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think like the viewers really need to understand for um, some of the, some of these girls, just like uh, Legacy, these girls is fighting rounds. So it's like you have people that haven't fought all day. That's fighting legacy on her third fight, yeah. you know what My I'm saying? My last limb, 10%. <laughs> yes, and you know, like, girls girls be drinking, smoking weed, and stuff. we're not in the gym every day. So it's that like, part. that's a lot That's a lot of energy yeah. to be in and just feeling like you don't know when somebody's going to run up and you just yeah. want to chill. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to ask you, before I get, I'm not going to get too, too much into the host, but I wanted to ask you how... 
what are some things that you think will make a of a good host out out of a show like this because even with now that's tv with other shows like isaiah's the host or natalie nunn a lot of hosts get a lot of flack for how they handle situations yeah so what do you think would make a good host though i'm gonna say for example um one of my things having control over your cast if you watch isaiah on south central baddies he has 100 percent control over his cast mm-hmm. i mean you might hear a little back talk but at the end of the day when he says what well, whatever he says go you don't like right. it you out like that's the number one key thing to become a host a host is somebody taking over mm-hmm. you're hosting you're hosting this whole entire cast if you cannot if your cast is running over you, how are you considered a host? Right. So I just feel like the number one thing of being a host is having control, full control over your host, setting boundaries, and sticking to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, I know I, I did see you on Ferrari's Instagram page. She had tried to call you out. We can't get too much, I know, into the reunion mm-hmm. or something like that. But um, did did anybody send you that or say, like, they, she, she said something about you running up, like... Oh, um, reunion. when she went live after the reunion? Yeah. Um, so what happened was, uh, she went... They all went live at the reunion, after yeah. the reunion, just, like, hyped up. And I didn't respond because I wasn't worried about my phone. They took our phones, mm-hmm. you know? I, we could have easily got our phones right after, but it's like, shit, I'm in Vegas. I'm trying to vibe out. Like, me and Mel, we went out for dinner. We got drinks. We was just vibing, chilling. It felt good to not worry about our phones, you know, for right. us to be, like, social media influencers and, you know, be on reality TV. A lot goes on in our phones. So mm-hmm. it felt good to, you know, walk around, you know, just feel feel out life without our phones. Yeah. So it was a good three hours that we was just, you know, enjoying ourselves. Um, so, so by the time I turned on my phone, I got my phone from pr- production, it was just all this stuff. And I'm just yeah. like, Legacy got beat up. Where's Legacy? Where's Legacy? Where's Mel? Where's Legacy? Like, mm-hmm. my fans are going crazy. Like, where is she? Like, what happened? Did she get beat up? So I'm like, you know what? I wasn't going to go live. But let me just go on live and mm-hmm. troll with, with Toyota Camry wig. Cause, <laughs> cause I said I, the wig. You set it on fire. Yeah. How was your experience, though? Not saying too much. Like, with, with your experience with the reunion, um... Do you think overall people did what they were supposed to do? Came with the energy they were supposed to come with based on what happened throughout the show? I think everybody the same. Yeah. yeah they definitely act the same. Okay. I mean, I came in there on some chill shit, like, mm-hmm. and and that really, like, flipped the script. Yeah. They thought, I gave them the complete opposite of what they thought. Right. They thought I was going to come in there running up, like, what I'm known for. So, mm-hmm. I just chilled, but I was like... Hi, like you know, yeah, hated it. It, it. it was five seconds that I was in, I was five seconds from when I sat down, got right under their skin. But yeah. I was classy with it, but definitely, was. Yeah. you you are a classy woman. Thank you. Yes, that's of the course. best compliment a woman could give me. <laughs> well, I love that. So, I wanted to know, like, for the future, you said you do want to do more shows. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have like any shout outs for any, any, any shows like? In particular? I would definitely want to see myself on Deja Vu or Academy. Academy, okay. so, you know, I could learn a few things or two. Definitely mm-hmm. control, you know, my temperature, reaction to things and stuff. I feel like it would be a learning aspect. Um, and I also could see myself on Deja Vu as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, could, I could definitely see you more on TV. You definitely have the personality that Thank people you. are looking for. Thank you. You feel me? Um, and I did read on your social media a little bit. You said something along the lines of the next person that you want to be with or maybe be dating, you want to do a little YouTube. Yeah. Oh, hold on, though. That's yeah, you cute. know, with Valentine's Day right around the corner, yes. why not? Yeah, I, I want to get into YouTube content creating. I want to, like, you know, make the best. Like, if I have a relationship, I definitely want to get into YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So Something. What, what type of dudes be sliding into your DMs? <sighs> it, be, it be all type of niggas. Um, 
I just get irritated. I don't really look through my DMs as much because as soon as I do one, two, three, and it's like three, like, ugh, ugh, ugh. You over it. I'll be like, you know what? I'm, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta meet me in person. Hello. So, um, if your future, you know, somebody admiring you mm-hmm. is watching this right now, like, what is one way to get your attention? Because you know the DMs be filled. Like, yeah. is it cash app? If I send you a cash app, you going to respond? That's is the it... perfect app to flirt on, on me with. You know, cash oh. app is a great way to connect. You think so? Um, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, That's different than out, out, outside of the box, you know? Yes. Because, you know, I got so many flooded DMs, but cash app, cha-ching. That's a fact. Yeah, it gives me, it, it gives me a notification. I like that. Mm-hmm. And it, it don't even have to be no crazy number, just, like, to get my attention, mm-hmm. you know? Okay, fuck it with it. Mm-hmm. And what would be a good first date with Legacy? Like, if if a dude's going to take you out on a date, or are, are you into women? No. Okay. Not. If a dude's going to mm-hmm. take you out on a date or whatever, um, what would impress you? Like, yeah, I'm going out again with you. Um, what would impress me is, you know, if if I let a guy take me out on a date, that mm-hmm. means that I'm somewhat interested. Definitely have to have a conversation before, you know, either on the phone, in person, or whatever. So just knowing what I like. Right. I don't like to pick the date. I like the guy to pick the date. Mm-hmm. So depending on where you take me is definitely where we take the next step ahead. Okay. That's what's up. So maybe we can see a little. We, we're going to have to follow along and see maybe if you got some youtube things coming out yes. um i could definitely see you doing like vlogs or like uh, or actually i have one today i'm doing you a youtube a vlog today? yes so Period. basically i'm doing um uh, 15 v 15 i'm doing 20 v 1 yes it's, it's gonna be a vibe today mm-hmm. but i'm excited for that i'm definitely gonna drop that on my youtube and get some more Period. youtube content yeah and when that comes out, I could definitely drop the link under this video. Yes, thank you. Of course, you already know. So is there something that you want to let the people know that either they don't know about you or something exciting that you have coming up? Okay, so I do have a show that I'm going to be on. I can't disclose the name because at the moment they don't have their pe- cast pick yet. But I'm for de- definitely sure going to be on it. It's definitely a shift of gear, something not as much involved into fighting so something on my boss woman shit so expect that stay tuned for that yes we definitely here for it well legacy i appreciate you so much for thank you for the inviting time. me yes. i had a blast today with you you're so pretty you are so pretty too thank i love you. pretty girl energy thank you maybe we could go for brunch or something girl i'm here for yeah. it i love find it find our match you find a- <laughs> <laughs> but yes so you know i'm going to follow along see what you got going on yes and, and i'm going to repost you we're going to support each other period. i love it girl and i love your energy keep thank shining you. and keep shitting on these bitches like you period know, you know what i'm saying